Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to calculate entropy and purity of a given confusion matrix for a clustering algorithm with a solved example. In this case, we have been given a data set with uh, three clusters and uh, six classes over here. Entertainment, financial, foreign, metro, national and sports are the different classes. Total is the total number of objects present in each cluster over here. Given this particular data, we need to calculate the entropy as well as purity over here. Now, what is entropy? Entropy is the degree to which each cluster consists of objects of a single class and purity is the extent to which a cluster contains objects of a single class. Entropy of a particular cluster I is calculated using this equation. EI is equal to minus summation of j is equal to 1 to l where l is the number of uh, classes in this case we have uh, six classes here so this summation will go for six times mij divided by mi log mij divided by mi to the base 2 over here now the question is what is mij mij is the number of objects of class j in the cluster i over here for example if you consider entertainment as the class and cluster 1 as the cluster here, the number of objects of this particular class present in this cluster is 1 over here. One more example, for example, metro is the class and cluster is 1, 11 examples are the objects present in this particular cluster, so 11 will be mij in this case. Now what is mi? mi is the number of objects in cluster i. So total number of objects present in this cluster are 693. In the second case, it will be 1562 and so on. So that is nothing but mi over here. Now, once you know these particular values, we can easily calculate the entropy of each of these particular clusters over here. The entropy of uh, first cluster E1 is equal to the number of objects of entertainment present in cluster 1. How many are there? 1. So 1 divided by 693 log 1 divided by 693 to the base 2 over here minus the number of uh, objects of class financial present in cluster 1 is 1 again. So 1 by 693 log 1 by 693 to the base 2. Similarly, the third object is 0, fourth object is 11, fifth object is uh, 4 and sixth object is 676 over here. Once you solve this particular equation, you will get 0 0.202 as the entropy for cluster 1 over here. That is what I have written in this case. Coming back to the second uh, cluster, that is entropy of E2 is equal to, that is cluster 2 is equal to the number of objects of class entertainment present in cluster 2. How many are there? 27. So 27 out of 1562. So minus 27 out of 1562 log 27 out of 1562 to the base 2 minus the number of objects of financial class present in class cluster 2. How many are there? 89 here. So 89 out of 1562 log 89 out of uh, 1562 to the base 2 over here. Similarly, we have to fill this particular equation. Once you solve this particular equation, you will get 1.839 as the entropy in this particular case. Similarly, we can calculate the entropy for the third class over here. The denominator in this case is uh, 949. The numerator will become 326 in the first case, 465 in the second case. 8 in the third case, 105 in the fourth case and so on. Once you solve this equation, you will get 1.70 as the entropy for the third cluster over here. Once you calculate the entropy for each of these particular cluster, the same approach can be followed to calculate the entropy for the total objects present in this particular example. E total is equal to the number of uh, objects of entertainment class are uh, uh, 354 totally so 354 out of 3204 in this case log 354 divided by 3204 to the base 2 in this particular case the same thing has to be done for each and every class over here and once you solve this particular thing you will get 1.44 as the entropy for this particular uh, uh, data set over here till now uh, i have discussed how can we calculate the entropy for each of these particular cluster and how to calculate the entropy for this particular entire data set. Now the next question comes in front of us is how to calculate the purity for this particular data set. To calculate the purity for this particular data set, we need to use this particular equation that is uh, purity of cluster i, pi is equal to 
maximum of i of mij divided by m o m i o here again mij is the number of objects of class j present in cluster i same mi is the number of objects of class uh, cluster i o here now uh, we need to put that particular values over here uh, p1 that is the purity of uh, cluster 1 is equal to max of 1 m1 j divided by m1 that is the number of objects of class j present in cluster 1 divided by number of objects present in cluster 1 over here max 1 is equal to 1 by 693 because one uh, object of entertainment class is present in cluster 1 that is 1 by 693 693 is the total number of objects over here one financial object is present in cluster 1 so 1 divided by 693 again here 0 by 693 11 by 693 4 by 693 676 divided by 693 over here and once you solve this particular thing you will get 0.975 as the answer here similarly we can calculate the purity for p2 here max of 2 m2j divided by m2 the number of objects of jth class present in second cluster divided by number of objects present in second cluster so 27 objects of entertainment are present in cluster 2 divided by 1562 that is uh, the number of objects of cluster 2 here 89 divided by 1562 for the financial class for uh, foreign class we have uh, 333 divided by 1562 and so on we will get 0.529 as the purity for p2 here similarly we can calculate the purity for p3 purity for p3 is equal to uh, max of 3 m3j divided by m3 once you solve this particular equation you will get 0.49 over here once you calculate purity for individual uh, clusters we need to calculate the purity for the entire uh, uh, this particular uh, clustering algorithm so that can be calculated with the help of uh, this equation overall purity is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to k where k is the number of clusters here so in this case we have three clusters so this will be calculated for three times that is mi divided by m that is nothing but m1 divided by 1 m m2 divided by m m3 divided by m over here p1 p2 p3 here now what is mi mi is the number of uh, objects of uh, ith cluster divided by total number of objects pi is the purity of ith cluster over here so in the first case that is m1 the number of objects of cluster 1 are 693 the total number of objects are 3204 and its purity is equal to 0.975 in the second case it will become the number of objects of cluster 2 are 1562 divided by 3204 that is the total number of objects multiplied by this purity and the same thing will be done for the third one over here and once you solve it you will get 0.614 over here the overall purity of this particular clustering algorithm is 0.614 in this case. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.